Hello, my name is Marilyn Cole. I'm the oboe instructor at Utah State University. And today we're gonna to be working through the requirements for the UMEA Oboe All-State Audition. The first thing that you'll need to do is play a two octave chromatic scale starting on low B flat. What I like to do is keep my pinky finger right in between that low B flat and B natural so it, you can slide really easily between those two notes. When you think about playing scales, you wanna create a seamless line. That means no breaks, no notes popping out more than others, and you, keep a ma and you maintain an even tempo throughout. <clears throat> for this, you'll be shooting for the quarter note equals 100 to 120, and you'll be playing eighth notes. <laughs> you'll want to end that low B flat as nicely as you can. Now let's move on to the etude. I'll play through the whole thing first and then we'll break it down after that. So let's work on this piece from the end. You'll notice in the last two measures, there isn't a retardando or a fermata. So you wanna keep that tempo moving even through the end, although you do wanna make sure that you add a nice taper to that last G, but don't hold it too long. If you're looking at measures 36 and 37, you'll notice how the slurs change here to create a syncopated feel. An easy way to make this come across cleanly is to add a lift at the end of each of these slurs, like this. And then if we move back to the recap there at measure 34, you'll see that piano dynamic. I've got a big circle around that piano because when you're coming off of that fast section, it's sometimes easy to forget. If we're looking at that fast section, the best way to start practicing this is to put the metronome to the eighth note. That way you can work your way through it into the 5-8 section while maintaining that even and clear eighth note. If you look at the 5-8 section, you'll notice that each measure is grouped the same way with a grouping of two eighth notes plus three, two plus three, two plus three. And in your mind, it sounds one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And you get that nice lift section at the end of each of those five, eight measures. Also notice that you have the rising dynamics through that five, eight section. So make sure each of those grow until the climax of this piece at this, of this fast section at measure 27. So for example, let's put our metronome to 136 and this will be to the eighth note. And I'm gonna play the first few measures, then I'll stop and pick up again at measure 22 and get into that 5-8 section for you. And now measure 22. And 
so on. So you can keep it like that, and then as you're getting better at it, you can put that metronome up more and more until you can switch over into the quarter notes. If we're looking at that 16th note run, there's measure 21, you wanna make sure that you're gonna use your left E flat and go to your right D flat. That's gonna create a smooth line there because unlike our chromatic scale, we don't need to roll our finger and we shouldn't. It sounds like this. Now keep in mind as you're working your way through this whole fast section that your final tempo is only gonna be as fast as you can play everything in this section cleanly and clearly. So you may not make it all the way to the quarter note equals 120, but whatever your tempo is, make sure it's even. If we head back up to the top of this piece, you'll notice again that we start with that piano dynamic. Do keep in mind that this is a solo piano dynamic, so you want it to be full and beautiful, but still leave room for you to do that hairpin dynamic in the first two measures and leave even more room so you can do the pianissimo at measure five. If we're looking at measure nine, you'll notice how the rhythm flip-flops here between the eighth note and quarter and quarter and eighth. Sounds something like this. And then that sets us up really nicely for that last measure in this section where we do see a fermata over that G. And so we wanna make sure we hold it through the whole length of that measure and then some, and then end with a really nice taper. Hopefully this information has been helpful. And remember when you're practicing, always use your tuner, always use a metronome and good luck.